Well, with this potentially dangerous heat, a lot of people and city agencies spent the day getting ready for it. CBS 2's Dave Carlin has more on that. It's in every heat wave handbook. Proper hydration. It's a little too hot for my taste. Angel Brass is inside this tree month the Bronx bodega, choosing bottled water instead of juice or soda. On the same block as one of 300 New York City fire hydrants with spray caps. City parks are home to 650 spray showers. And at this one on the west side, three-year-old Michael Camillo's curly hair was wet and his face streaked with sunblock. Here's his dad, Frank. And all the parks in New York are open right now, so he's able to play in the water. He's able to have a good time. Also drinking lots of water and taking numerous breaks throughout the day are workers who have to be out in this heat, like the crews over here from Con Edison. Whether your job is working in a trench on electrical lines or delivering the mail, it's key to pace yourself and retreat to air-conditioned trucks when you feel fuzzy or woozy. For some people, their own homes prove too hot to handle. Quinta Nunez has an air conditioner but tells us it is not cutting it. And that one is too small for the room. Doesn't get cold enough. Saturday morning, she upgraded to a more powerful AC unit but was given no guarantee it can be installed this weekend. Starting Sunday, 160 cooling centers citywide will open. City leaders say they expect to see smaller turnouts than in heat waves past after the installation of more than 40,000 free air conditioners for the needy. College student Alexis Gossman will be home with her brand new AC unit. She says she brought her dad shopping for this one because he is so strong and handy. I'm going to tackle it. I'm glad she's getting an air conditioner finally. It's very needed for it being so hot today. Health experts say check in on vulnerable relatives and neighbors and everyone drink lots of water. In the Tremont section of the Bronx, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.